Today's Cowboys mailbag right after the Brandon Cooks trade bought, brought to you by Kinzuri. If you're a short king, boost your height by up to 2.8 inches with promo code CHAT at Kinzuri.com slash chat. More on them in a little bit in today's show. A super chat to begin. Alexander Forte, $5. Brilliant trade. If Cooks is washed, give it to next to nothing for him. Best off season in years for Dallas. P.S. Please get Tom some water. You got it, Alexander. Look, I don't think he's cooked. I don't think Cooks is cooked. That's a fun little tongue twister there. I think he can still help you in a big way at wide receiver, too. Jeffrey Ward, $20. Holy crap. Just saw the news. This is a steal and fills a huge need. Look at interior O-line, tight end, BPA in round one. A surprising offseason by the Dallas Cowboys so far, and I am all about it. The bar is low. The bar is do something. And the Cowboys have done two major things beyond re-signing Donovan Wilson, re-signing Van Der Esch, restructuring uh, Tyron Smith, maybe sadly, but properly cutting Ezekiel Elliott. Two big trades. Brandon Cooks for $12 million, which is what it would cost you for Kobe Myers, basically. Not a bad deal. And getting Stephon Gilmore. I am happily surprised with how busy our Yacht Boys have done for the Dallas Cowboys. $5, Emmett Lambert. People are so negative. I'm still having a receiver. Then we get one, they still complain. I think it's looking at the just be honest it's box score scouting you're looking at Brandon Cooks going 700 yards I don't like that his quarterback was Davis Mills and for the first time ever Cooks was not moved for a first round pick a fifth and a sixth if I had told you guys a month ago two months ago this is the trade for Cooks we would have all been over the moon I get the Hopkins stuff is a factor whatever I am happy with this move by the Cowboys. So grade the trade for Brandon Cooks. A, B, C, D, or F. You've had some time to think it over there. It is the pinned comment again on today's show. If an ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. A, B, C, D, or F. Eli Aaron. Are these trades not steals? The good corner, good receivers. We are a top five team, and, and isn't this the best trades we've had? It's a really good trade. You're getting a, a perennial, for the most part, 1,000-yard receiver, buying low after a down year last year, but like, hey, Davis Mills and Jeff Driscoll and Allen were their quarterback. It's, it's not a good grouping there. I agree. I think getting – again, if I had told you guys a month ago – the trade value for Stephon Gilmore and Cooks, we would have all been for it. Now they got it here in mid-March. That's a good deal for your Dallas Cowboys. So I am ple trading. I am a big believer in sending your day, th your late day three picks for veterans. The Cowboys did that. I have been as critical as anyone uh, with this Cowboys organization. You will not catch me being mad over these two trades. Jay Elam, S-word redacted, here we come. Yeah, you almost got, I'm, 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 I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. I just, I can't, I, I can't say it. Jake Bucks, $10. Cheers to you, Jake Bucks. I appreciate that. Uh, Young Aiden, that's how I'm going to pronounce that one. Is it a possibility we take a target interior O-line with our round one pick? It is possible. Um, I think this Cowboys team is going to go BPA, but as it sits right this second, you know, after the Cooks trade, a couple hours after on, on Sunday, looking at interior O-line, interior D-line, are your two big needs outstanding, which fix in free agency, and then go pure BPA in the first round. I think Osiris Torrance and Steve Avila from TCU are the fallback options for Dallas. Today's Cowboy Report is brought to you by Kinzuri. Are you tired of feeling insecure about your, ha uh, uh, about your height, fellas? Kinzuri makes sure to have to 2.8 inches to your height discreetly. Women get heels, makeup, push-up bras. Why can't men get a confidence boost, too? 
We're all the same height lying down, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, Kinzuri shoes are not only height boosting, but stylish and comfortable. They're not grandpa's ugly Velcro shoes, but fashionable shoes that can receive compliments even without the height increase. The height insoles are built into the shoes. It's the ultimate height hack. For a limited time, Kinzuri is offering our viewers an exclusive 15% on top of their 30% site-wide discount. Use code CHAT at Kinzuri.com slash to save the 45% off. Don't wait any longer. Upgrade your shoe game and confidence at C-O-N-Z-U-R-I dot com slash chat. If you want to get high, put on a pair of Kinzuri's. The six-foot requirement... I think that's ridiculous, even though I, I am six foot. But if 2.8 inches doesn't sound like a lot, kind of feel bad for your girl. Links in the comment section and the description, Kinzuri.com slash chat. Golden Fox 177. Love the Cooks trade. Play well with different QBs. Wouldn't mind signing DJ also. I'm a big fan of the Brandon Cooks trade. Um... Look, you're right. He played good with bad quarterbacks. Davis Mills. Let's not pretend Jared Goff is a top 15 quarterback. Did you guys see the NFL Network quarterback rankings for the NFC? Horrible list. Let's, let, let's not be prisoners of the moment. Let's be honest with who these quarterbacks are there. It's an upgrade, a mass upgrade for Cooks this year at quarterback. Joshua Ramsey. Dallas on the weekend time. Have some screwball today. Uh, Mitch has screwball. I'll tell you what. If we did uh, screwball shots here, I don't think I would survive because I I would I, I think I I think I would have issues because like it tastes really good and instead of like adjusting our super chat menu, it'd be like ah it's fine and then it's the three hours later it's me in the corner that's what it ends up being. Cheers to you, Joshua. Apostle T, like or not. Dallas take a back in the first round. Embrace it. If you take care of your offensive line and your interior defensive line, there is a – if Bijan is there, he will be the best player on my board. If Bijan's gone and Jameer Gibbs is there, like a 60% chance he's the best guy on my board. So if you take care of – all your other needs so far, great path. I am okay taking the back in round one. I don't love it. It's positional value. But if you address all of your needs and actually go BPA, I, I, I would be okay. And historically, Dallas does a great job in round one. So who do you want to draft in the first round in this year's class? Sound off for me. In the comment section. From G Money, a great name. Gotta go sign a dif difference maker at DT. Not that many out there. Puna Ford? Texas Boy? Fatties only? That, that's my guy right now. Austin Carey. But you still want Jalen Hyatt from Tennessee. Huge fan of him. I still want him. Receiver three, but when Cooks leave, be a great compliment for Lamb. Here's, here's the issue you're, you're, you're going to run into. Dallas, whether we agree or not, is committed to Michael Gallup. Now, Hyatt would be receiver four, I think. I think he needs some time. Probably not in round one. Round two? The four three guy? I ain't going to be, be mad at it. From Lance Dunbar's burner. This mean Fayoko is a is a new Cowboys legend. Not yet. Um, but between you know, you're probably not gonna bring back Hilton. So it's gonna be I think we have the receiver depth right if we go to Jack. CeeDee Lamb, Cooks, Gallup are roster locks. Tolbert is a roster lock at wide receiver four. Uh Tur uh, slash receiver five. Turpin also going to make this roster. So, Fayoko for now is receiver six. 
They might carry six. I doubt Turpin plays a big role for you on offense. But you could carry six at that standpoint. From Pug Racer, love the trade, but in my opinion, Amari's a better player. I agree. At this point, though, Amari's not going to happen. So it is what it is. NX, you think JSN or Quinton Johnson, if they fall to Dallas 26? Pro pro probably. Um, I doubt JSN gets there. Quinton Johnston might. Johnston, I'll be on uh, uh, behind the scenes here. He's a tough eval for me. And not just like value, he's a tough eval. Like, he's built as this like big, physical, contested catch machine. Like, that's what his size says he should be that. But he plays very finesse. But he's also great after the catch. He's so good at breaking tackles. There's a disconnect between some of the skills, some of the traits, some of the size that those don't quite match up one to one. But at 26, I would take him. If you want to join us for our future mailbags, you got to be subscribed. YouTube.com slash at Cowboys TV. Free videos every single day, multiple times. I mean, we're doing, I think we're averaging like 14 this past week. It's been a blast. Hit that sub button right now. Nick Lee, I, uh, it's a super sticker. I don't know what, what what the currency is, by the way. I think this is this is a Thai currency, I think. It's it, it's a sticker, so they don't they don't translate one to one. Shiba dog laughing slightly while blushing, covering his mouth with, with one arm. The stickers do not translate on our graphics, but that's what it is. Jeremy Chugs is burner. Yeah, Chugs in here because he's soft. Everyone type F Chugs in the comments. Couldn't resist. Uh, praying for Casey in round in the first. Jack Johnson, the second defense. I think you mean Kalijah Cansey in the first. Jack Campbell in the second? I think that's what you mean. Um, as you fix your needs, I, I can get on board with Kalijah Cansey. $5, Cole Myers. Dream round one player. Michael Mayer, JPJ, JSN, Addison, others. So I am behind, as I, as I always am, just how it works here. I, I get caught up uh, from, like, April is just straight draft for me. That's all I do. My, my wife hates it. Um, I, I think I'd have them ranked Mayor, JPJ, who would have been higher from a need standpoint than you got Stephon Gilmore, and then pick your receiver after that. Um, I do. Michael Mayer's is, is he's Witten. Like, that's who he is. And I think it's a little bit more late stage Witten than like prime Witten, but like I think Mayer would be a great fit in this offense if he's there in round one. I'm taking him. I'm taking JPJ, JSN, Addison. I'm happy with all of those moves. The Cowboys, as we sit here filming, have not signed an outside free agent. Maybe it changes. But grade the Cowboys offseason so far. Two massive trades. A, B, C, D, or F. 